Hello children welcome to wiki bedtime stories hop on to the flying carpet as we take you on a ride to discover the world of fairy tales fables of enchanting forests and meet the warriors from mythologies hanuman and the sun Hanuman was the son of Anjana and the Vanara hero Kesari. He was born by the grace of Vayu, the wind god, and therefore he is also known as Vayu's son. When Hanuman was just a child, Kesari was called away on duty by his chief Sugriva. Anjana took care of her son. Vayu who was fond of the little Vanara used to take care of him while Anjana was away When Anjana went out to the forest to get fruits Vayu would play with Hanuman He would push colorful leaves and flowers towards the child and when the child tried to grab them he would blow them away The little kid would run after the leaves and flowers chasing them down the forest path across the rivers and up the mountains Meanwhile Anjana would come home and find her little darling son missing Hanuman Hanuman she would yell No matter how far away he was from her Hanuman would hear his mother's call and return home Vayu would make an air cushion and Hanuman would float on it One morning Hanuman woke up very hungry He wanted to eat but his mother had gone out Hanuman looked for some fruits but he found none Then he saw the rising sun The morning sun looked red That fruit looks so juicy thought Hanuman he ran out of the hut and up the hill nearby why you gave him a gentle push lo the little fellow was airborne the sun spotted the child flying towards him at an enormous speed that little fellow is charging at me like a mad bull the sun god vayu was amused that his friend surya seemed to be shaken at the sight of a mere child hanuman now started moving with greater speed surya the sun god was alarmed help help he screamed in no time indra the king of the gods appeared riding on his elephant airavata This was no ordinary elephant. Airavata was white in color and had four tusks. To little Hanuman, Indra's elephant looked like a toy. He forgot he was hungry and went after the elephant. "Go away, you fiend, go away!" shouted Indra. Ignoring Indra's warning, Hanuman lunged forward to grab the elephant by its trunks. Indra pushed away Hanuman with his powerful weapon, the vajra or the thunderbolt. Hanuman had taken the blow on his face. He winced as his face started bloating. Vayu was alarmed at the sight of the falling child. He moved quickly to gather him in his arms. Carrying him Vayu swiftly went inside a cave. The moment Vayu locked himself in the cave, the wind stopped blowing. Men and animals gasped for breath. Indra was alarmed, for he knew living beings cannot survive for long without air. Indra ran looking for Vayu. Surya ran after Indra. and the other gods followed him all the gods led by indra gathered outside the cave and appealed to vayu to come out you have such a wonderful son vayu 
said Indra. What a strong boy! And he is fearless too, said Surya. When he grows up, Hanuman will achieve great feats, said Indra. I grant Hanuman the boon of extraordinary strength, said Surya. I grant him knowledge and wisdom, announced Indra. He can grow as large or as small as he wishes. He can assume any form, said one of the gods. Not even death can touch him. I will make him immortal, said Indra. Vayu was pleased to hear the boons showered on little Hanuman. Meanwhile, the little fellow had recovered from the pain. Still hugging little Hanuman, Vayu came out of the cave to thank the gods. The wind began to move. Men and animals could now breathe with ease. The gods were happy and they blessed Hanuman and returned to their homes. Just then, Hanuman could hear his mother Anjana calling him. Hanuman, where have you gone, Hanuman? Hanuman immediately headed home, floating on the air cushion provided by Vayu. When Hanuman reached home and hugged his mother, Vayu smiled. So what have you learned from this story? Yes, you learn to think before you act. 